All right, y'all, we finna look at this and break this down on the iPhone X. Um, y'all already know how I feel about it, just on a certain level of things, because I am an Android user turned Apple, um, specifically because I had an Apple laptop and I had an iPod and my phone couldn't sync my paperwork, my videos and everything else um, through it fluently and it was a headache when it came to my acting stuff and my business stuff. So uh, that's why I made the switch. But before I made the switch, it already, the uh, I think it was on, I had the Samsung Galaxy 7. And the Samsung Galaxy 7 already had the wireless charging and <sighs> let's just get into it. For more than a decade, our intention has been to create an iPhone that is all display. A physical object that disappears into the experience. This is iPhone X. Developing the form and display together defines a whole new integration. Make but hold up, are they going to make sure that that whole glass uh body is made from some glass that ain't gonna break when you tap your nail onto the screen because that's that's from what i can tell a very huge problem we don't need no full-on glass body iphone we can't even get the iphone regular screen to not crack we trying to do that like it's on prayers bruh boundary between the device and the screen hard to discern the custom OLED panel was engineered to fold and seamlessly combine with the external surfaces. What? Mechanical buttons give way to touch and gestures. There's no home button. A single swipe takes you to the home screen. I already see a problem. If there's no home button, how many times has y'all's iPhone 7 already frozen? And you had to like hit the home button a few times, try to get it back or the power and the home button to hard reset it. A more responsive touch system means the gestures in iOS 11 are more fluid. The polished stainless steel band reinforces the water resistant all glass design. This new glass formulation, the most durable ever in a smartphone, enables for the first time wireless charging for the first time for apple users y'all need to catch up catch up just because you do something with a more expensive product or in y'all's case sometimes not even a more expensive product don't mean that it's new our new true depth camera system contained within this tiny space uses extraordinary depth sensing technology to let you unlock your phone with a glance. We call this Face ID. It maps the unique geometry of your face with over 30,000 invisible dots. Oh no. Oh, no. oh no. Look, this is like they are doing the FBI's job of already, you know, we already have like so much taken from us and now it's like, yeah, we gonna map your face. Everywhere you go, we're going to have your face, your movements, everything with all these dots programmed in every computer and security camera and laptop and phone. If we go, you can't run. There's nowhere to hide. We have you. Data is analyzed by the neural engine on the A11 Bionic chip, the first of its kind. The chip? Your iPhone now recognizes you, even in the dark and will adapt to your physical changes. Your iPhone is always watching you. This makes your face your secure password. So with just a look... This makes your face your keyless entry into the hackable world of the cyber. You can authenticate your phone or use Apple Pay. The True Depth camera also enables new experiences. Like bringing emojis to life by mapping more than 50 facial muscle. And Snapchat does that. And going back to the other thing, like, isn't it just a little bit weird? 
I mean, I don't know. It's a little weird to me to be like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Your face recognizes you out of, okay, but what if you have an identical twin or what if you have a doppelganger and somebody steals your phone and that person happens to look like you with a lot of makeup on. Now they got access to your whole phone. It's not a foolproof plan. I need to know what's, what's the foolproof here? In real time, so you can be happy or sad or cross. Both the front and rear facing cameras now have portrait mode and for the first time you can actually define the light in a scene. Based on fundamental photographic principles, portrait lighting produces the effect of real studio lighting. On the back, the dual camera system. But for all that, I just gotta know, do we get a more durable charger? That's all we want, Apple. No? Got it here.